I just wanted to make a short video talking about my EV800 goggle modification. Um, here's a modified board, here's a stock board. I had two of these goggles and neither have DVR and um, I got one of these DVR boards a long time ago and decided to do the mod. So here's the wiring. Um, you have the two main plugs. You've got the center plug that you need and then the top plug that you also would want to use. Um, the top plug allows you to change menu settings and the center plug is what actually allows you to record. This is the wiring for the center plug. You need one ground pin. It doesn't matter which ground pin you use, but you just need one of them. And then you have ground, video, um, specifically video in, um, audio in, and then this is the 5 volt in. Now the caveat to that is um, this will only take 5 volt in. If you give it more, it won't turn on and you risk breaking or frying it. So what I did here is I added a Matek 5 volt 3 amp regulator and I just wired my battery power in and then my, um, my voltage out and that's just hot glued to the board. And you don't need to do this if you just use the stock battery right here because this is under 5 volts and it'll power the DVR just fine. But I wanted to use more than 5 volts and be able to power this from a 4S or even up to a 6S battery. So here's the modification. And then the last part is for the top plug and this is the video out and the ground plugs. I don't know if you need that second, if you need a, the ground wire, I think you can just do the... Uh, the video and let me lift this up so you can see the two pads that are soldered to um i don't know if you need that second ground because it's con probably not because all the grounds on here are shared so again let me just show you um that this here's the center plug and then this plug is the top plug and then this has to have a 5 volt voltage regulator because I'm powering from a 2S up to a 6S battery rather than the single single cell battery that it comes with. Let me transition to it being in the case and I'll show you that. It is inside of the case. Um, I forgot to mention that I unsoldered the power plug that use, is used to charge the battery because you can no longer charge it. Um, and so I, I just removed it. And also I removed it because I wanted access so that I could put the wire through and then I took my soldering iron and I melted a little bit more. You can just see that my wires conveniently will go through the slot. Wire number one, wire number two. And then my third ground wire, power wire goes on top. Then you just take the top and you close it up. Like so. Now screwed the top back on and plugged in the wires and you can see the wiring here. Five volt in, ground, video in, audio in, and then this plug, video out and ground. And then the power plug here, which just runs to an XT60. Last step is to show you the DVR menu. So I've just hooked it up to a 6S battery to show you that it works up to a 6S, which is kind of neat. Now I hold the button until both turns on um, I have it booting up in the menu here, and it'll just load in a second. But to exit the menu, just click the button again, um, and then you can switch between them. If you try and fly inside of the menu, there's a lot more latency, so always fly outside of the menu. Um, but then you go into the menu to access your settings. To start recording, just press the top button, which is the right arrow button. That'll start your recording, and you can see that in the corner right here. To stop recording, press the button again. To access settings, hold the middle button until the menu comes up. To switch menus, hold the button again. And to exit menus, hold the button once more. To access the DVR menu, hold the bottom button, which is the left arrow button. And now you access this menu um, with your DVR. And to access old, um, most recent footage, click this button. And if you want to go straight to the oldest footage, click this button. It works very similar to the Fat Shark DVR style. So let me just get to some footage. So then you click the center button to play the footage and you can see the counter. If you want to play it at faster speeds, there's a, oh, wrong way. 
let me start that again. Um, faster speed, click the bottom button, which is a little weird because that makes it go faster forwards. Um, if you want to go backwards, click the right button and that'll take you going backwards and you can go backwards faster. Anyway, we're going forwards. We're going to watch at eight times speed. Just see some of the capabilities of the screen and how this is kind of neat. So yeah, here's some just footage um, staying under 400 feet. Um, so yeah, there you go. Here's some footage. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, here's just a little bit about the Pro DVR. Um, they're pretty cheap if you want to grab one. Um, I'm using this goggle as a um, goggle for training people. And if they ever crash, it's really, really, really helpful to have this DVR here. Um, this footage on this screen here is footage from my Fat Shark goggles. Because I don't fly with these, um, so I just put my Fat Shark SD card in here, and so that's what you're seeing. Um, actual footage that you'll probably get won't be this good, simply because of the um, the recording quality and capabilities of the Fat Shark goggles with the better module that I have on there. Um, so anyway, here's just a little bit about this. I hope this helped you. I doubt anyone will ever watch this, um, but if you do, yep, give it a like. Um, maybe it helped, um, the most helpful video I could find when I wanted to do this years ago, uh, was like 30 minutes long and was not, which just took a long time to get through. So I just wanted to make this, um, I, I just made this video today, even though I did this mod like a year ago, because I wanted to just go through it again, redo it and show you what, um, I've done now that I make a video about it. So there. Yeah, there you go. Um, check out some of my other videos if you're interested, and I hope you enjoyed. One last thing that I forgot to mention, don't be like me and don't try and update the firmware on your DVR. This is one that I tried to do that with. I screwed it up somehow and it's now a brick. Um, I'm gonna see if I can try and flash correct firmware somehow with a Arduino, uh, but that's gonna be a whole process. Um, but yeah, don't be like me. Don't try and flash firmware, it'll brick it. And if you don't know what you're doing, it's just dead and you'll have to get a new one. So that's why I have to. But yeah, just wanted to put that out there. Don't update the firmware. Bye.